Hi, I'm Bill O'Brien from Great Lakes Orthodontics. Dr. Gordon Christensen indicates that 30 to 40 percent of the patients currently in your practice have occlusal pathology. A high percentage of those patients have muscle imbalances and can benefit from a deprogrammer. Patients usually present with chronic headaches or facial pain but also can exhibit loose or worn teeth. Indications for occlusal therapy can include muscle problems or pain, patients who grind and clench, or to achieve CR prior to comprehensive treatment. Many clinicians agree that when just the anterior teeth are in contact, the total amount of muscle contraction force the patient can achieve is only 30% compared to maximum intercuspation. The lateral pterygoid muscles relax, allowing the temporomandibular joints to seat in their most comfortable position. Anterior deprogrammers are a safe treatment option and effective in a high percentage of these cases. Deprogrammers work by taking posterior teeth out of occlusion. This significantly reduces elevator muscle activity and allows the release of the lateral pterygoid. Deprogrammers also remove all occlusal interferences, further allowing muscles to relax. For a majority of these patients, this results in relief of symptoms. The Great Lakes Deprogrammer has evolved from the input of leading clinicians. Fabrication of the Great Lakes Deprogrammer begins with a one millimeter thermal formed overlay which provides optimal retention and patient comfort. Acrylic is added to fabricate the anterior bite plate, which extends from cuspid to cuspid, but is trimmed so that only the centrals and laterals are in contact. As an option, a hard, soft, thermal form material can be used as the overlay, providing additional patient comfort. The trade-off is that the appliance is less retentive. The only contraindicated patients are that small percentage who have an intracapsular joint pathology. Quite often, the diagnosis of joint pathology in a clinical exam is not clear-cut. Therefore, many doctors use the deprogrammer as a diagnostic tool. If the patient experiences increased pain or the symptoms are not alleviated after a week of wear, it is a strong indication of an intracapsular problem. The patient should discontinue wearing the deprogrammer and may be treated with a full contact appliance or referred to a specialist. To fabricate the deprogrammer, the lab just needs upper and lower models or PVS impressions. A bite registration isn't needed unless maximum intercuspation is difficult to determine, such as a case with very worn teeth. To deliver the appliance, confirm that the deprogrammer seats properly and has proper retention. With a carbide burr, trim any areas on the inside of the appliance where the patient indicates a tight feel on the teeth. Next, check the contacts with articulating paper. There should be an evenly contacting dot for each contacting tooth. Check to make sure that there are no interferences of any posterior teeth during protrusive and lateral movements. Some clinicians recommend that deprogrammers are not intended for full-time, long-term wear to prevent super eruption. Make sure the patient knows not to wear the deprogrammer any longer than recommended as super eruption of non-contacting teeth can occur. If the patient wants to wear the appliance more than at night only, a lower overlay can be fabricated to prevent super eruption of the lower posterior teeth. Let the patient know that if their bite feels unusual in the morning after removing the deprogrammer, it should feel normal again after the patient eats breakfast. If the patient is in more pain or there is no improvement in symptoms after a week of wearing the appliance, this can be an indication of an intracapsular joint issue. The patient should discontinue use and contact the dental office. Depending on the treatment plan, the time period the patient continues to wear the deprogrammer can vary. Patients may find relief after a couple of weeks wear and can use the appliance whenever pain occurs. For other patients, once the masticatory muscles have been relaxed and allow the joints to seat in a comfortable position, treatment plans can be developed. Deprogrammers are easy to use and have very high patient compliance. To help you identify patients who can benefit from occlusal therapy, you can add a TMD screener to your evaluation, which includes questions regarding muscle and facial pain. The screener is available at no charge from Great Lakes. Deprogrammers, fabricated by Great Lakes Lab, reduce your chair time, are highly effective, and are comfortable for your patients, and will make it easy for you. Prescription forms and delivery labels are available online or by calling Great Lakes. Feel free to contact us with any questions, and thanks for watching this video.